in 2021, uh, we made a breakthrough discovery at the Flory that for the first time, if you were to use a pH balanced formulation of vitamin C sodium ascorbate, give this at mega doses directly into the bloodstream, this was safe and it rapidly restored multi organ function, it improved brain function, kidney function, and cardiovascular function, which we've now been able to translate quite safely and effectively into clinical trials at Austin Health. So we've seen quite promising signals translate from bench to bedside, which really kind of puts us at the vanguard with the help of a $4.9 million Australian government grant to really advance this treatment now into larger multi-center clinical trials across mainland Australia to see how effectively this drug works in patients with septic shock. Sepsis and septic shock are the most feared complications of critical illness and are the biggest killers of critically ill patients in the world. So having seen this now opens the door to larger trials and more advanced investigations of this intervention to see if we can change the likelihood of survival in these patients. This is a truly remarkable effect. We have studied very many drugs over the last 20 years to try and develop new, better treatments for sepsis, none of which have really had much benefit. And the effect of sodium ascorbate is quite remarkable. A very, very sick animal that has multiple failure of all its vital organs and is in a uh, state where it's not responsive within three hours of the treatment is standing up and behaving like a perfectly normal animal. It's quite remarkable. So these developments are very exciting. The first in the world and it's been a privilege to be able to see this kind of interaction between experimental work at the Flory and translating that into human studies in uh, the real clinical situation of patient care.